Um, so as I said in my last video, which is the 1000 view special, I said that I would be coming out with a uh, tutorial on this thing called Nova Skin. And let me just say, this is really awesome. I really love this Nova Skin program. And I'm going to be doing a series. Um, probably will be have a few seasons to it. It's just that great, big of a program. It's not really a program as much as it is just a website. But I'll probably be um, doing a few videos on this. Several videos, probably. And you can see up here the address is just novaskin.me. Right there. Novaskin. Dot me. I don't know why it's dot me. It's kind of funny. Um, so you can see up here, there's like, this is the home page. You can see it's a skin editor and a texture pack editor, and there's a skin gallery that you can download skins. Um, so the gallery, here it is. It's a pretty cool looking gallery. Okay, guys, and look at that Iron Man 3. Right, I went to go see that last night. It said it was pretty awesome. I want to see it so bad. You can see chests. Oh, look at that cool cake chest right there. My Creeper Nightmare Ender Chest. Okay. Ender Chest. These are some cool chests. That's pretty awesome. Companion Cube. Now, yeah, and this is really cool. Alright, now let's go into the actual um, editor and everything. So, when you come to the home page, you can go, um, you can preview your skin and all this stuff. I'll probably talk more of this stuff about this stuff later. It's not really that big of a deal. But today's going to be a pretty quick video. I'm going to show you the skin editor. Start editing your skin now. That's what you click on. All right, you come here. You can see all these things. Oh, wow, look at that skin that's in there. Yeah, that's the skin that I was working on. I'll delete that layer right there. Deleted. All right. So, first thing you can do is with this skin editor is you can see all this. This is the area is going to be. There's the little grid where it's going to be and yeah you can hide this panel if you want to look at that paper craft you can create your own paper craft with this stuff to print which is really cool so if I did uh, this here and then paper craft to the paper craft print although it's not as well done as the paper craft on the other site which I will do a tutorial of soon uh, but this is a cool looking skin here that's pretty boss what was that one? That was the, uh, has, it's nameless. Pretty cool looking one. But yeah, you can see just how cool the skins are. Um, one of the things you can do here is you can turn off the hat down there, or the head, or the body, or a leg, or an arm. You can turn all that stuff off. You can add layers to it. I haven't quite mastered that yet, but it's a pretty simple, it's pretty much like all the other, um, things. Another one you can do is you can open and you can choose a file. And you can pick Tree Man. And there you go. There's Tree Man. Oh, see, look, that opened it with this layer, too. So, I can make this one visible. I can make this one invisible. And delete these both layers. So, yeah, there you go. And you can, as you see there, I'm drawing on it like a normal skin editor. It does it pixel by pixel. Undo all that. And so you can do that. Another thing you can do is down here with the colors you just drag it around pick the color you want slide up on down on the brightness and you get that and then you can click on ellipsis here and it makes kind of a gradual fading ellipsoid <laughs> ellipsoid so what the ellipsoid does is it starts with this color ends with this color so this color be on the outside this color be on the inside I can change this color to like this or and you can see all that. This looks pretty cool actually right now. Another thing you can do is you can go here to uh, line and you can just click this line. It's going to start with this color and with this color. So look at that line. It's just a gradient line. Um, you can also do rectangle. Starts with this one, ends with this one. There you go. That's actually pretty cool. That makes it really quick to do all this kind of stuff if you want to do like gradient fills. I know a lot of you guys love to do this kind of stuff with your skins. That looks pretty cool right there. Yeah, and that's basically the skin editor. Oh, look. Okay, what's this? Okay, yeah. Grid off. 
on. There you go. Other thing you can do is randomly change the color. So if I just pick this brown and draw, is see how those colors are slightly differently pigmented? Like lots of the mobs are in Minecraft. You see all that? You see it better like this. See all that? That's really cool. That's right up here with the randomly change the hue. You can do the yellow. You see all that? That is so cool. I love this skin editor. It's one of the best skin editors I've ever used. Um, a lot of people say they like the ones they use. I love this one. It's so cool. Uh, I just deserved a tutorial. It really did. You guys really need to check this out. Novaskin.me. And so there's that. And another thing you can do with this here, let's pick a skin. Let's upload. Let's delete this layer. And let's open choose file. Let's open True Hero. And so here's me. Jfish Hero, my sword on my back, and my awesome knuckle dusters, and all this stuff. I actually made this from scratch. So no, I did not just take a tree skin, as you saw earlier. I made this from scratch. It's really, it was just me. I really enjoyed doing it. And so what I'm going to do here, okay, tags, you don't need tags. Okay, backgrounds, you can change the background. So like, here, oh, another thing you can do. If you click this here, or there you go, you can move him around. Ta da! And now he's moving, he's flipping around. I'm just dragging the mouse and clicking. This thing, you just drag it around. Zoom, zoom out. Just drag, click and drag to zoom in and zoom out. Then, I don't know what that does, I don't know what that does. Okay. Just rotates the way he's facing. And then here you can do like a weapon that he's holding. There you go, there's a bow. Here you can erase the hat. I'm not going to do that. You can animate it. Oh, yeah, like a boss. Running around. Let's change the item. You like an iron axe. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but this is pretty epic. Okay, I know you guys are seeing this. Alright, background, background. We've got some good backgrounds. And then you can pose them in a pose. Let's turn animation off. Stop. Pose. Oh, yeah. Oh, treat. Solid. Okay. Now that I, I can click this, and now I can drag these parts. To do things that I want to do, like this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. It's a little bit confusing actually, the drag, but I like it a lot. There you go. There you go. And what I can do now that I've got him posed is I can go over here to uh, screenshot and take that screenshot there and then just save the image as. And there you go. Jfish Hero. That's actually a really cool image. I'm going to save that right now. Screenshot. Save image as. New library. New folder. Jfish Hero X. And there you go, I just saved that. And that's how I that's how I made that last thumbnail was with screenshots using this. As I told you guys I would do a uh, thing on how I did my thumbnails. Um yeah, and so that's really it for the uh skin editor. If there's anything I missed, such as the eraser down here in the bucket, so the bucket, you know, fills things in the bucket. Like that. Oh goodness. And it's still in random, so the bucket will even do the random thing. That's really cool. Control Z that. That was scary. Eraser. And then you can do this. You select this. I pick this. Ta da. I pick that. And now it changed the color to what one I selected. And then there you go. And that's basically Nova Skin.
Um, I really love it. It's a great job. Great job to the creators. Creator. Um, I actually have it downloaded for Chrome because you can download it on Chrome when those Chrome apps. And it's really just cool. Next time I do this, I'll probably show you guys how to uh, do the texture pack editor. I really enjoy doing the, uh, the the texture pack. I'm working on one right now that I talked about in my last video. My sports texture pack. Soon I hope we'll be working on my JFish Hero 24 texture pack, which will be basically all things that you would see in the world of JFish Hero 24, the world of tree people and things. And I can't get enough of this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. This is JFish Hero 24 signing out.